If you love something about a fighting game, if you love characters, or you love gameplay, or you just love aspects of it, if you love something about a fighting game, regardless of how bad it plays online, or how weird some gameplay mechanics are, you will find a way to continue playing it and continue loving it. Why do you think so many people continually play Smash Brothers online to this day? Because it is Smash Brothers, because it's now video game all-stars, the game. Do you think playing Smash online is crazy fun? No, but will you put up with it because you love the shit out of the game? Absolutely. Absolutely you will. If you create enough stuff in it that is to be loved, between visuals and characters and sound and presentation and music, regardless of how shit the game plays online, people will still play it. Why is Smash as big as it is? Because it's not just Nintendo All-Stars anymore. It's video game All-Stars. Smash has now transcended what it is just this little Nintendo fighting game into this giant marketing conglomerate game that represents the entire fucking video game industry. It's not just Smash Brothers anymore, it's everything. That's why Smash is as big as it is now. It's video games, the game, and that's brilliant. The only problem with Smash is that they're fucked. Like the sad part is that you have to support Smash Brothers in its current form for a while. And it's weird for me that, that Sakurai and the devs are gonna be like, this is the sm last Smash DLC season, because what have they done to themselves with Smash? They have provided one of the, the greatest cash for product video game purchases you can possibly make. Smash, in terms of what it's giving you for how much it costs, is incredible. How many characters are in it, how many barriers it breaks between franchises to make all that shit happen, it's in fucking incredible And Sakurai has said this, there will never, ever be another Smash Brothers game that does that again. It's just gonna be impossible. When another Smash Brothers like happens, if it does eventually happen, Smash Ultimate, you guys are living in the heyday right now. It's now better than Melee, better than Brawl, it's better than Smash 4. Right now, Smash Brothers is the absolute limelight of a fighting game community. And the biggest it ever has been for anything fucking ever. Bigger than Super Turbo was, Third Strike was, Marvel 2 was. Until that second season of DLC is done, you guys are currently residing in Smash Mecha. You are in the greatest timeline Smash will ever be in. Because the future of Smash is games that will never be able to catch the magic that was Smash Ultimate. And that's an unfortunate truth. And even Sakurai admits it. He even says, like, the future of Smash games is never gonna be like this. Like, we'll never be able to reach the same roster. Like, what do you even do with Smash Brothers after, like, it's gonna be 90 fucking characters or some shit? And in a game that mostly everybody loves, there's no way you're gonna be able to one-up that. There's zero way. You are currently in the golden era of a fighting game community, and that's Smash Brothers. Everything is bigger than it ever has been right now. The fighting game community was living at with, like, Ultimate Marble 3 around the 2013-2014 era. It was, like, the biggest the FGC ever was. All I'm saying is that live it up and enjoy it. It can't last forever. Just love it. I lived that shit with Killer Instinct, you know, in like 20, 2014 to like 2016. Killer Instinct was the epitome of Killer Instinct was the season three reveal at the Killer Instinct World Finals and all the fans were freaking out about the balance changes and everyone was live reacting. It was incredible. It felt like Killer Instinct was on top of the world. It was amazing. Like 40,000 people watching KI live. All I'm saying is that there's no way for Smash Brothers to ever match what they're doing now and with future seasons. And it's, it's an unfortunate reality that the game is too good. Smash Brothers is too good. Sakurai fucked it up. He went bigger and bigger and bigger and never thought to stop. And that is actually how video game development works. Should we introduce this stuff into the next game and these characters or not, right? You have our game and the stuff that we want to put in the game. No, 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 let's just, let's just put that shit over here so that the next games can have that shit. There is no way. Like, Smash Brothers is too big. That, that game's gonna end with like 90 fucking characters or some shit. And I would love to be proven wrong, right? I would love to be wrong about that. And, and the next console of Nintendo shit comes out, whatever they do beyond the Switch, and they're able to come up with a new Smash Brothers game that, game that has 120 characters. There's a thousand five hundred stages. How many music tracks? We have 150,000 music tracks in our game. What online play is it? It uses even shittier netcode. <laughs> Every PlayStation character ever is in it somehow. 
how, I don't know, Master Chief is in it, Goku's in it, Sora's in it, Spike Spiegel's in it. Why is this sounding like it's an impossibility? Why is this sounding so dumb? Because that's what they've set themselves up for. They've literally set themselves up for that shit. Those motherfuckers are running out of Nintendo characters. They're running out of shit. If we're going to include like all 90 whatever fucking characters are in the previous Smash Brothers game, and then their next game is going to come out, who's the big characters that are going to spearhead our next game? There are places they can go with Smash Brothers, right? To really try to grab people and appeal. There's still a lot of places they can go. But the big issue at that point becomes rights. The big problem is, it, apparently it was already difficult. Uh, apparently Sakurai had to pull strings to get Cloud even in, in Smash Ultimate. Is that going to be the same for Banjo? If they can't get Banjo back? Right? Is that going to be the same thing for all these other fucking characters? All I'm saying is that in, enjoy Smash Brothers. You guys are living in the goddamn golden era of Smash Brothers right now. And it's amazing. It's amazing to see YouTube channels completely based on a singular fighting game be as big as it is because Smash has sold like 30 million copies or some shit. There are more fans of Smash Brothers and competitive Smash than there has ever been probably collectively for anyone that has been a fan of competitive traditional fighting games. What about keeping Ultimate as a live of service game? I hope, dude, I, you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I've had this conversation with Simmons. I think the best way to approach Smash is to just keep developing for it, right? Turn it into like a live service sort of thing. Nintendo doesn't have a history of doing that with their console games at all. I'd say in like two to three years, once Smash gets its final season and it's still continually selling like hotcakes and putting Gino and Lino and Reno or whatever the fuck everybody wants and making everybody crazy happy and shit like that, like Ultimate has now been around for like four years and everyone still is playing it and still loving it, I think at that point, yeah, you keep developing characters and then you eventually make it like, like a core version of the game is free to play or something like that. They'll never do this shit. Unless Nintendo completely changes their entire industry standard. They have had for the past fucking like 80 years or some shit, whatever. This is not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Nintendo has no history of this. But that's what you should do. Smash Brothers is too big. Like, just keep supporting this game. Make this game go to the next generation. Make this game have 200 fucking characters. I wanna be, like, 50 years old. Old video games is jumping on Saturday at 8 p.m. And old video games with Kenny, Steve, and Simmons, and myself are 50 years old. And we're playing the latest character in Smash Ultimate. We're playing the 200th character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I fucking want that, dude. I don't want that game just to like, season, here's season two, we're done. See you later. And just, we, 90 characters, we're done. I don't want, I want them just to keep supporting this game fucking forever. But it's not what developers, it's not what like Nintendo wants. Nintendo wants to innovate. We gotta change Smash Brothers. Like we gotta, we gotta do some crazy new shit to it. We have to make that the new Smash Brothers makes you smell stuff now when you play it. Right, that's the problem with that company is that that's the way they work. They want to not just do the same thing and just stop and then reinvent it in some way down the line. But if Sakurai is able to defy all expectations, if Sakurai is able to not retire, <laughs> you know? Like the craziest thing, in all honesty, this really feels like Sakurai's last hurrah, in my opinion. It feels like, look what I fucking did. Brought 90 characters from a variety, from a variety of games across the history of video games, and I put them into one game. I brought the most music tracks ever into a video game ever. I didn't fix the online. <laughs> this game costs $60, and it has more in it than your fucking mother can shake an angry gorilla. How do you not buy this? You already bought it. You already bought two copies. Thank you. Thank you for buying two copies. Thank you for supporting everything we worked so hard on Smash. I'm retiring. <laughs> it feels like it's it's a hurrah. It feels like it's his fucking... This is what I, I've been working on for the past, like, 25 years in the industry. And I did... We defied everything with Smash. And it sold gangbusters. It feels like it's an honestly, like... Look what we did. We want to walk into the sunset, everybody. Enjoy. This is Magnum Opus. Smash Brothers is absolutely... Sm Ultimate Smash is a Magnum Opus of video games. It's his, it's his fucking swan song, swan song. So, anyway. If he's able to not retire, be like, you know what? Let's do it again. <laughs> you know? We're just gonna hire everyone back. You guys ready to do that shit again? We're gonna do that for the next... Eight years. I'm gonna be... 65 or some shit. Let's just do it again. Let's do it again after that. I want to do this again until 
I fucking croak. No, like, this feels like his actual... This, this feels like this is... This is what it's leading up to. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think that's why Smash is in the in the greatest state it's ever been right now, because it's a, it's a goddamn magnum opus of video games. All I'm saying, chat, appreciate it. Smash is bigger than it ever can possibly be. I'd love to be wrong. You guys are living in a golden age. Fucking golden age right now.